Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a haul video. Um, so, I thought it was time I did a haul, it's been ages. Um, I have got so much stuff in to show you basically. Um, and I will take you into the other room in a minute. Um, so, first off, oh actually I'll do this first because this is open. Um, yeah, I'll open that back up. So, this is a obsolete media storage uh, case. Um, it's for cassette tapes, so you've got this tray in here, basically. I mean, it's just like a plastic tray. This isn't going to be anything that special. I paid a couple of quid for it. If I can get a tenner plus postage, I'll be happy. So I'll just go ahead and close that up. Um, I've got a new downfall. There wasn't a price on it, so I asked how much it was, and she said a quid. I'll just see if that will focus in. There we go, back focused in now. Um, so yeah, a quid on that, probably go up to FBA, I don't know, something like 12 quid used. I might shoot a little bit higher on that actually because uh, it is quarter four. Um, but I have sold them in the past for like 12 quid um, with it not being quarter four. Paid a quid for this. Um, PS2 game, Mercenaries, uh, Playground of Destru Destruction. I don't know how much it was going for on FBA. It, I think it was below a tenner though. Um, but yeah, something in that at least. Uh, these were really good. I paid a fiver for this guy here. Uh, these murder mystery ones. Um, new and sealed. Should be looking to get back 20 on FBA for that. And £6 here. This one is a beauty. Um, it's actually uh, listed Merchant Fulfilled New at 40 quid. Um, now mine does have a little bit of, well, quite a big rip in the seal there. Um, but I still should easily be able to match that 40 or easily get 50, um, even if I list it as light new. Um, so yeah, probably shoot up for 50 on that one, to be fair. Um, it's got, a, it's, well, not a great rank, but, you know, not bad. Um, 125,000 in toys, so, you know, not the best rank, but it, it's still alright. Um, still well worth sending in, anyway. Um, I got this, I did pay up for it, 450 It is working, I tested it myself when I got home. Um, I, I picked up a uh, Stormtrooper, no, a Clone Trooper one the other week. Um, and that sold actually for 25 quid. Um, and I bought it for 250 I think. Um, so I did pay up on this one thinking I could get about similar money. Unfortunately, I actually don't know what it goes for. But a quick... Uh, Sold and completed search on eBay will reveal that for you anyway. Um, I got this Wii game a quid. I was surprised that this was going for a tenner used on uh, FBA. So that is going to FBA. And now the one thing I couldn't with this getting a life size cut out. I don't know how well that's going to. Oh that's terrible isn't it. Let's see if it will focus in a bit better. Um, a life-size cardboard cutout of David Tennant. Uh, this will be sit staying with me for a little bit until I get bored of it. And it probably will be staying there, to be fair, because it's pretty cool. Um, it's going to give me a shock when I get up in the morning. It's made by... I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but... Let's see if it's focusing down there. Um, Star Cutouts Limited. Um... Yeah, these things, we, obviously there's a bit of wear there, where the fold is. Um, yeah, these things aren't great. I paid a fiver for it. Um, I think I could get some alright money, but not amazing, amazing money uh, for it if I sold it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it for a bit, I think. Um, but yeah, so that was a fiver. I don't know, maybe 30 quid, something like that. I have, I have had a look, but... Like new, they seem to be going for like 35. Um, so I don't really know what I'd be able to, to achieve for a used one. Um, but yeah, definitely cool that one anyway. So I'm going to take you into the other room now. I'll actually pause the video and I will show you some of the other stuff I've got. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the second part of the video. It's now actually a few hours later. I don't know if you can tell, it's dark outside. And yes, I am in my dressing gown if you can't tell. Um, it is bonfire night tonight, so if you hear any fireworks outside or any loud noises, that's what that will be. Um, so yeah, basically I've been buying a lot of video game job lots, hence the one you see in front of you there, um, recently. And it sort of culminated in a massive spending day uh, last Tuesday, um, where I spent quite a considerable amount of money. 
uh, in one day at least for me. I know a lot of people do spend, uh, I know with certain people who spend a lot of money um, almost every day uh, for their businesses, but for me, this was a considerable amount of money for my business. Um, and I did actually spend very close to £500 that day. Um, the lot you're going to see now cost me just shy of £300. Um, there are other little bits that are in different rooms. Uh, but to be fair, this is the bulk of it. Um, and what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, and before we begin, I don't know prices for everything, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and also the prices that I do know... Uh, they will be FBA prices, so you have to bear that in mind. Um, they will probably be a little bit higher than eBay prices, although you've got to consider FBA fees, so it does take that down a bit, and it sort of all balances itself out. But the prices I will be quoting to you will be a little bit higher than eBay prices. Um, and that is why, because I will be selling them on Amazon FBA. So without further ado, I shall get on with it. We'll try and get through this vet fairly quick. I'm not going to go into detail on every game. I'm not even going to show you every game because that would just take forever. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the consoles and stuff. So basically I'll get my money back. I've calculated I'll get my money back in the consoles and then the games will be profit. So sell the Slimline PS2. A little bit, yeah, not, not too bad actually. A little bit aware, but nothing really major. Um, that might not be focusing in very well, but you, you can see the general idea of it. Um, so yeah, the wires will be in there as well. Um, somewhere in the bottom of there. Um, and we've got some games. You know, Tomb Raider. You know, most of these aren't really anything. They're only a few quid games. They're not really amazing. But I think I have got... That one's, that one's six quid on Amazon FBA. Um, there was also... Oh yeah, I don't know how much that one is, but that one might be something. Um, I don't know about that one either. Metal Gear Solid, that might be a few quid on Amazon. Um, but also, there was... Yeah, there was some Harry Potters in here. I think it was about three or four Harry Potters. They'll do a nice bundle, probably about 10 to £15 pound on Amazon, on, on eBay even. Um... If I have three or four of them, hopefully, yeah, that'll be about right. Uh, Silver PS2, um, hopefully looking about 45 50 um, There is actually a controller for it in there. I don't know. That silver thing that's shining out, that's a silver controller. I actually got that in a separate job lot, so it was actually pretty lucky. Because this one here came with a uh, black PS2 pad, which I'll sell that on FBA for 12 to 15 quid, something like that on its own. So that's good. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we've got a classic Mega Drive console there. Um, does have its wires and everything in, in that big m massive stuff there. Um, and yeah, should be getting about forty or fifty pound back on Amazon FBA for that one. PS2 console, standard fat black one. Um, yeah, probably about forty quid for that on Amazon. Uh, Kramer uh, PS2. Um, Guitar Hero Guitar, I don't even know, this was like an extra in one of the bundles, um, to be fair I don't know prices on that but I mean gotta be like 15 quid or something hasn't it, um, I might find out which game goes with it or something and see if I can't get some money, uh, this just again another extra in a job lot, this job lot here actually, um, Sony PS2 controller like remote or something, I might be able to get some money back on that. Um, there was also some a job lot of memory cards in this one as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, Sega Game Gear, a little bit worse for wear, a few issues with it, including the battery covers are missing, uh, but there should be some money in that. Uh, might be, might have to sell that for like 25 on its own because there is a few little issues with it, but nothing too major. Um, the Game Gear games, they're all the dross, basically, so they're like four to five pound games, um, and they're all on eBay. I've got 34 games with the Game Gear, including the case, magnifier, and a few leads as well. Um, now, I've never had a Game Gear before, so I don't know what the leads actually do, 
because it's battery operated but anyway I had real fun testing that um, and yeah that was cool um, yeah so that's those oh yeah some of them had manuals as well um, I got three PS1 consoles I don't know if you can see the third one down there a little bit yellowed I might be able to get the you know the yellowing out I might be able to maybe look online to see if there's a way of sort of getting that out I don't know um, but yeah there'll be some good money in them hopefully about £30 a console on Amazon um, we have an Xbox original down there um, and again that's probably similar money to the Mega Drive about 40 or 50 um, we have a we have a few P PS1 pads in there. They'll probably bundle up with the consoles when we go up to Amazon. Um, we have a Namco PS1 gun. We have a Lotus um, steering wheel for the PS1 with its um, pedals. And that's probably, what, 10, 15 quid on eBay, something like that. Um, there are a few other bits and bobs under there as well. I think there will be a couple more pads and stuff. Um, oh yeah, and there's a couple of... Uh, if I can even get them out. A couple of more Mega Drive games. and You know, nothing amazing. But, you know, there's some money in it at least. Some money in those as well. Um, some of the things I've been listing here. Um, obviously those Lego are separate. Um, but I've got some more of the Game, the game Gear games there. Again, four or five pound games, really. Um, and then these were just some of the games I decided not to send into Amazon and list on eBay. Sort of like six, five, six pound games there, so nothing real special. Um, that lot there is things that are either like NTSC, is that right? Anyway, the American ones. Or it's just things that aren't listed on Amazon or that I'm just going to sell on eBay anyway. Um, this is all bundle fodder ready to go on eBay um, so yeah nothing amazing here. there are a couple of £10 games or £5 games in there um, but yeah nothing really outstanding um, next I am being quite quick because you know I don't want it to be a very very long video we have uh, 7 Wii controllers in here 6 nunchucks and 5 Nintendo Wii consoles don't know if you can see that but there's actually a load of consoles down the down the side, including one black. I know the lighting's really terrible. I am sorry about that, but there's not a lot I can do to be fair. Um, if I can bend over a little bit, maybe you can see that black one better. But yeah, so that'll get me about 30 quid a console with the wires included. Um, the controllers I sell so quick for 13 pound a time on FBA as long as they're in fairly all right condition um, that looks like an unofficial um, an unofficial batch cover or something so might have to sort something out with that one but yeah most of the other controls are in fairly good condition when I looked at the photos um, there is one unofficial but I'm I'm saying there's seven official controllers one unofficial so there's actually eight controllers in total um, this box here is the better stuff for, well, anything for Amazon FBA, but most of it's fairly alright. So we have the better Game Gear games um, in there. So there's some £20-25 games in there, and then there's some like £10-15 to £15 games. Um, I don't really think I'll be able to get them out with... Um, with my uh, we're trying to hold this uh, selfie stick as well but we've got like batman begins um see if i can i can't even see them because the cases are covered up but uh wonder boy oh yeah that was quite a good one wonder boy um i think it was like 2025 um and then we have uh there was Shin shinobi or something it was like a really weird game but that was like 20 uh, we have this game here, don't think that's much. We have Scooby Doo, that's about six, seven quid. We have Sonic Screwball, Mega Drive, about a tenner. Um, I think that was about, I don't know, six to ten, I want to say. Saw that before. Uh, Star Wars Rogue Leader on the GameCube, that's about eight. Um, 
that's nothing real special. That's like four or five. Um, X Men Destiny, ten pound because it's factory sealed. This one I'm not sure about still. I need to do a bit more research on that, but I think that was a really good one actually. I think that could be a winner. Uh, you know, like twenty to thirty quid. But unfortunately, it's missing its manual, so I don't really know. I think that was like again six to ten. About five on that, and then that the Warriors. I think that was all right. That was like twelve or something. And then we have a load more Army Men RTS, which I used to play when I was younger. Um, Terminator Free, the Redemption, uh, View with View with Paul Jokes. Oh God, I don't know. But anyway, um, you know, they're all like all right value, not amazing, but all. Right. Um, we do have quite a few in here. It goes quite far down. Um, actually, that was the one I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, that one seems to be thirty pounds on Amazon FBA Black Label Crash uh, Bandicoot: The Wrath of Cortex. I hope I've uh, got that right, thirty pounds. But I'm pretty sure I did select used on the Amazon seller app. Um, so yeah, unless I did select new and that's the new price, but yeah, 30 quid apparently for that one, so that's really good. That was a few quid micro machines. Uh, I used to play that, I don't know if it... Was that on Game Boy? No, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, Knuckles, Knuckles and Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles even, Mega Drive. It's got the box and the instructions, but the box is really tacky. Um, but yeah, like a good sack of games in there. I don't even know how much value wise is in there, but probably about 200 quid or more. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, and what else have I got to show you? Um, oh yeah, so as I said, they're, they're listed. Um, I've got a kids game bundle there. Oh, they're listed for like 20 quid PS2 kids bundle. Some disc only Wii's for £10. Um, a Lego Star Wars bundle, a couple of PS1 games, I don't know, probably about 50, 60, 70 quid worth of listed stuff there. Um, and I've showed you those, haven't I? So I've yeah, I've showed you everything. Um, I think, right. Oh, and um, the that is the Game Gear case as well. Um, yeah, I said that, didn't I? So I think we're right. I mean, try and see. Oh, that was what I wanted to show you as well. Uh, there's about four, two or three uh, disc-only Wii games in here that even go pretty well disc-only, like £10 each, just for the discs. Um, or that's what I reckon I could get back anyway. Um, so I've got like these Chicken Blasters. It's a really odd game, but Chicken Blaster, and then we've got like um, Chicken Riot or something. But yeah, so they're all right. Um, and then there's a couple of like five pound games in here, you know, Assassin's Creed and stuff. Um, yeah, and then that's just a Lego set I got uh, as a freebie when I was buying something for myself off the off the Lego shop at home. Um, so yeah, that's about everything. So yeah, that is everything, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.